Okay guys, raise your hands if you were shocked to see the latest pic Adele posted. Honestly, she looks almost unrecognizable. At the start of the new year, she'd already dropped a crazy amount of weight and now she's even slimmer. Fans are both proud of the singer as well as concerned since she lost 100 pounds or more. But sharing her birthday post last week, I can tell that Adele is happy to show off her new look. While most of us are probably stuffing our faces at home during this global pandemic, then there's Adele who's working on herself and going down a handful of dress sizes. I know a lot of people are making a huge stink over the big change and I'm sure many are criticizing her, but it sounds like she's been working on her weight loss for a while and it's likely been more gradual than we think. Adele's a British singer and songwriter who just celebrated her 32nd birthday, which we know from that Instagram post she shared. She's been widely praised for her voice and talent and became an icon to many. Her list of awards and nominations is too extensive to name them all, but to get an idea, she's won 15 Grammy Awards alone and she's even won an Academy Award for Best Original Song in a movie. I think one of the reasons Adele is getting a lot of pushback for her transformation is because previously she was a hero for others who felt that they fell into the plus size category. She proved you could be super successful being a little fuller and a little extra weight doesn't have to define your narrative. In 2015, Adele told Rolling Stone, Would I love to show my body off if I was thinner? Probably not because my body is mine. But sometimes I'm curious to know if I would have been as successful if I wasn't plus size. I think I remind everyone of themselves. Not saying everyone is my size, but it's relatable because I'm not perfect, and I think a lot of people are portrayed as perfect, unreachable, and untouchable. If you think about it, it doesn't matter anyways because Adele isn't even that relatable. I mean, which of us are Grammy award winning artists with a voice like that? Likely not many. What's going on guys and girls? My name is Kara, and this series we've titled Before and After. We did a before and after on Adele at the beginning of the year, but after her new photo went viral, it seemed like it was time for an update. We're going to do a little refresh on how she's changed her look over the the years from her style in general to any plastic surgery she's had and of course her weight loss. I'll tell you all of Adele's secrets on how she shed over 100 pounds or what we know anyways. I've also done other celebrity transformation videos in the likes of Jessica Simpson and JLo and I'll link to some at the end. If you like this channel make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you never miss out. As always if there's anyone else you want me to document let me know in the comments down below. And be sure to follow me on Instagram because I love connecting with you guys. Now let's get into to this video. Adele burst out onto the scene around 2008, which feels like ages ago, because it was. I was like 16, I was in London and I wrote some songs and um, I put them on MySpace. It's you were in space? I wasn't in space. Well, come on, Tai, come on. It's not a thing. It's space, you're wearing space. On, in the computer, though, not in space, like, um... Like in space, like no, like really no, in space. like in the computer. If you remember that far back, Adele did not look the way she does now. At the 2008 Brit Awards, Adele actually wore a recycled dress that she used at another event a few weeks before, and her 19 or 20 year old self was still adjusting to the spotlight. Adele also had darker hair then and didn't give off the same confident vibe she does now. She often rocked bangs and dark eyeliner. For one appearance that year, the star didn't even really dress up and instead chose an oversized gray sweater on the red carpet. Slowly, Adele's look became more polished and elegant and for her first Grammy appearance, she chose a much fancier outfit. Around 2011, Adele started introducing her big hairstyles and updos that could be considered somewhat of a signature look. She also lightened her hair and was going blonder gradually, which I definitely like better on her. In 2012, she had the perfect blonde and rocked the classic look with bold red lips. By this time, Adele had mastered Hollywood glamour and in the coming years would keep the blonde hair and stick to a similar style. We can tell that Adele loves big hair, big false eyelashes, and dark liner. Around 2015 and 2016, she toned down the amount of makeup she wore and let her hair down more. But the biggest change to Adele's look definitely started at the end of 2019 and is clearly continuing now, which she's been giving us gradual peaks at over the months. So let's address the elephant in the room, Adele's crazy, shocking body transformation. I guess this was bad news for anyone who feels comfort seeing a celeb larger than size 8 because now the woman certainly falls into the skinny category. After months of staying out of the public eye for the most part and not releasing any new music, Adele posted that 32nd birthday photo on Instagram in the midst of this global quarantine and it shows off her noticeably thinner bod. Adele started looking slimmer last October in a photo from Drake's birthday party she posted with the caption reading, I used to cry but now I sweat, a nod to how much she's been exercising. Reportedly she also told a fan way back in January she already had lost 100 pounds 
pounds after pics surfaced while she was on vacation with Harry Styles and James Corden, looking happy and healthier. Now with even more changes to her look, it's estimated Adele's dropped a whopping 150 pounds at least. Now the singer hasn't really said a public word about her massive weight loss, so the praise and attention she's getting is already a little controversial, only because she's done way more successful and jaw-dropping things in her career over the past decade than something to do with her appearance. On the other hand, the crowd who's mourning the plus size Adele isn't right either. She doesn't owe anyone anything and all that matters is that she's happy. Nobody said that since she was a little bigger in the past that she has to stay that way, but it gets tricky in Hollywood because everyone always has something to say. With that out of the way, I'll tell you what we know about how Adele managed this major transformation and what her secrets are. First of all, the singer started her weight loss journey years ago and has definitely been putting in gradual steps. She also went through a divorce last year and if she's anything like me, sometimes breakups motivate you to get in the best shape ever so you feel good or it just happens, but who knows. Adele's personal trainer Pete Gerasimo also spoke about the internet's awestruck reaction to her weight loss. He said, When Adele and I started our journey together, it was never about getting super skinny. It was about getting her healthy, especially post-pregnancy and post-surgery. When 25 dropped and the tour announced, we had to get ready for a 13-month grueling schedule. In that time, she warmed to training and made better food choices. As a result, she lost considerable weight and people took notice. Peter also added that Adele wasn't doing this for publicity or anything like that, it was completely for herself and her son Angelo, and just how she wanted to live her life. Adele has said she adopted a brand new eating routine to boost her health and keep her voice in optimum condition, but said the diet plan could be rather boring at times. In terms of eating, the star credits the cert food diet. One important thing about her plan is that she cut out toxic and processed foods and drinks which help her really see results. Adele ditched her 10 daily cups of tea which she put 2 spoons of sugar in, as well as cut out caffeine, alcohol, cigarettes, and spice spicy, citrusy, and tangy foods for a while, and that gave her a huge kickstart. Now hearing all of that, you already know she was committed. Back in 2016, Adele spoke to Vogue and said, I was trying to get some stamina for my tour, so I lost a bit of weight. Now I fit into normal, off-the-shelf clothes, which is a really big problem for me. This surf food diet plan, which she's apparently still using, focuses on foods that are high in sirtuin activators, a quality said to suppress appetite and help regulate the way our bodies process fat and sugar. Her trainer Pete recommended this plan, and it seemed to stick. Adele would incorporate things like kale, buckwheat, cocoa powder, blueberries, apples, and turmeric into her diet and drink lots of tea, but this time green tea instead of the usual kind she cut out. This diet also includes plenty of green juice, especially at the beginning. It also only allows for a strict 1000 calories a day. It might sound super lame, but at least the cert food diet lets you enjoy cheese and red wine. Adele's previous trainer said, I don't believe she liked exercise much, but she has changed her lifestyle and I believe that 90% was dieting. But never Nevertheless, Adele still has to work out. It's rumored her usual exercise is 60 minute cardio session and or circuit training. She's also a big fan of her former Pilates. According to The Sun, the singer has taken up this type of Pilates to strengthen her body, which has resulted in her most recent weight loss. Reformer involves doing Pilates moves on special machines and is said to improve posture, flexibility and balance, as well as being great for weight loss. So experts do say that Adele likely lost about 150 pounds in total, which is no light task. I think that whatever dress size a singer is, her talent should still be the focus, and the bottom line is that she's happy. Finally, it's no doubt that with weight loss, Adele's face changed a bit too. An aesthetic expert revealed that her drastic change has made her face features more prominent than before. Dr. Chike of Hampstead Aesthetics Clinic and Dr. Chike Clinics explain how the loss of fat and volume to Adele's face made her eyes look more prominent and made her bone structure, like on her nose for instance, sharper and more angular. He also said that loose skin and aging can come about with losing a lot of weight since you're losing roundness in the cheeks and jawline. Apparently Adele's major weight change is obvious because some wrinkles now are more pronounced. It's often a complaint of individuals that lose a lot of weight that they're worried they look more tired or ill because of these face changes. And the same doctor says he recommends focusing on nutrition, skincare, and even facials as her diet stabilizes. He also says she can get dermal fillers too to increase volume, but as far as I'm concerned, Adele isn't known for that. In fact, it's rarely been speculated she's ever gotten any type of work done over the years, which isn't usually the case for celebs. The only cosmetic work the star may have gotten is a nose job, but it's not likely. Adele does look significantly different from the early days. If you look at her nose, it's super sleek and perfect, but it's hard to pinpoint when exactly she would have made that change. It could just be really good contour and makeup, but there's also the possibility that around 2015, Adele got a rhinoplasty. But that's just what some tabloids speculate online. What do you guys think? 
All right, guys and girls, that wraps up this video here on Before and After. Clearly, Adele is thriving and happy with her new look and health. Instead of focusing on whether or not she should be a certain size, I think we should focus on how she's the same talented artist everyone has loved for over a decade. Positivity on her Instagram pics coming from other celebs and fans is all well deserved and I think we should just let her have her moment. But of course, the 150 pound weight loss can't be ignored and let's be real, she looks like a different person. But Adele doesn't owe anyone anything and can be whatever size she wants to be. But I wanna hear from you guys. What did you guys think about Adele's transformation? Was there anything I missed? You let me know you know where as well as who else I should do a before and after on. If you wanna talk more, you can hit me up on Instagram. Be sure to hit subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.